Good morning, everyone, and thank you for uh, joining us today. Today, uh, I'm here with Minister Cody to announce that Mr. Stan Marshall has been named CEO of Nalcor Energy, and that position is effective immediately. We are pleased that Mr. Marshall has accepted this position. His resume is extensive, and his experience is well suited in this critically important decision position. Throughout his career, including 35 years with Fortis, Stan has led a multi-million dollar organization's large-scale projects throughout and around the world. We are fortunate that he's agreed to lead the province's energy corporation, and we look forward to working closely with him. He has led organizations through large-scale projects around the world for years. And now he's going to do it at home. I've had many conversations with Newfoundlanders and Labradorians, both at home and away, about what's important to them and about the Muskrat Falls project and NELCOR and the future of our province. It's important that we have experienced leadership in place at NELCOR and for the dedicated Newfoundlanders and Labradorians working across six lines of businesses at NELCOR. But in particular, the leadership is important to work with us to ensure to get the Muskrat Falls project back on track. Mr. Marshall has stepped up, stepped up to the challenge. As you know, NALCOR's board resigned last night and we respect their decision. You also know that EY made recommendations regarding governance, including strengthening the board, and we continue to implement these recommendations. This has been a methodical, evidence-based approach to making improvements at NALCOR. I want to reassure the people of this province, the shareholders of NALCOR, that we will act quickly to appoint a new board of directors. We will have specifics to share with you in the coming days. I now invite Minister Cody to provide some remarks. Thank you, Premier. I thank Mr. Marshall for accepting the position of CEO, NALCOR Energy. Mr. Marshall's career with Ford has spanned 35 years, and he was at the helm as president and CEO for more than 18 years. Mr. Marshall holds a Bachelor of Applied Sciences degree in Chemical Engineering from the University of Waterloo and a Bachelor of Law from Dalhousie University. He's a retired member in good standing of the Law Society of Newfoundland and Labrador and a registered professional engineer in the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. Mr. Marshall brings a wealth of experience and knowledge his accomplishments in developing Fortis into Canada's largest gas and electrical distribution utility and extremely successful company are well known and celebrated. He grew the co corporation's total assets from less than a billion dollars in 1996 to 18.6 billion in 2014. His leadership and expertise will help NALCOR, including the Muskrat Falls project, for the benefit of the people of the province. There is a lot of important work ahead, and we are pleased that Mr. Marshall will be leading the way at the <coughs> province's Energy Corporation. Welcome, Mr. Marshall. Thank you, Premier. Thank you, Minister. <coughs> if you like uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger in The Terminator, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great honor, but also a great responsibility to lead now at this very critical time in its development. Those who have placed their faith in me can be assured that I will lead NELCOR on a course that is in the best long-term interest of the people of this province. In the days and months ahead, I will be carefully reviewing the strategy of the company, the quality of the people, their relationship with business partners, and the operational performance of all its business units. The Muskrat Falls project will be an immediate priority as I have deep, I am deeply troubled by the current status and I'm clearly not alone in that regard. The people of this province must be confident that NALCOR is doing the right things, that things are being done right. Thank you very much. <laughs> 